Hi Aquarius, welcome to Michelle, we're doing a reading. Give me a minute of your life that you will not regret or maybe you will. Who knows? You'll decide after that minute. <laughs> okay. But first of all, it's finally here. It's our subscription. Okay, I'm looking at the monitor, I'm looking at you. Okay, it's finally here. Um, our Divine Feminine Smudge and Crystal subscription. It comes to you every month and it's only $24.99. Okay, for a six month subscription and it is free shipping us only now it comes with of course the smudge um you got some palo santo i got match matchsticks are lucky to keep so this is for me personally i just like okay put you know put the match it's for luck okay so keep it safe okay don't light it okay and then of course it depends on the crystal what i will pick there's two kinds actually there's three um this one is a rhodonite okay this is rhodonite you got a citrine over here and a selenite so it's a huge bundle together with a sacred uh, flower. The sacred flower is when I when I pray on it, okay, like that. Because I, I mean, when I do my prayers, so there's flowers over there. Let's not go into the detail there, okay. But yes, so this is now available and it doesn't stop there. It's already free shipping. There's like nine items there or eight. And I think this is the ninth. Um, it comes with an instruction guide, okay, what you're getting and then detail how to use it. Hold on. And then you can get a free, okay, this is for me also, a little gift for, for me to you guys, is a um, lavender, okay, amethyst um, bracelet, okay? So do check it out. For your first order, you get this for free, for the first order, okay? So you can get it for a month or three months or six months. Um, of course, um, this is... Uh, uh, this is actually a you know a big value, but it's actually you're getting it at a 50%, I, I believe, if you do the math um, on how it is, um, you know, by the end of the day, you know, you're only paying 50% off of it. It's such a good deal, isn't it not? Okay, so let's begin. So that's that. Amazing. It's in the description. I'll put it there. I'm also at Instagram, of course, doing all these things. You can see me there. If you haven't seen me, I'm always in the warehouse. I'm always like doing some... Picking, packing, designing, all those things I do it there. So let's go, Aqua. What's going on with you guys? Mm -mm -mm. It's only available at eTreeLove.me. Not available in uh, our app as of yet. Uh, so just log into our website. Here we go. Girl deck is what I'm using, Aqua. So you are releasing a situation that you feel like you have tried to mend, but it didn't work. You have friends and family or people who surrounds you who told you like, yeah, I think you're doing the right thing. You're realizing right now is that, you know what, it is what it is. What's best for the situation is to, um, you know, not obsess about it, but just let go. Mm -hmm. Don't obsess with love. All right, look at that. Mm -hmm. Don't obsess with love, release love. Learn by experience, not by mistake. So everything in life is an experience. There's never a mistake. It's only for us to learn from it. And if it's a learning um, opportunity, you're experiencing something that will later on give you an aha moment or like what we call a breakthrough. Communicate with an ally. This only means aqua that you, yourself right now, you're all about making networks, talking to people, building that good foundation. Resources, I feel, is what you're doing. Um, the soul within is the universe within. You have accept it, don't post it. You have vulnerability takes courage. Okay, this is my aqua card. This is my cancer card. This is my Leo card. This is my uh, Sag card. And this is my... Capricorn card. Okay, so this might be something that you connect with. Um, I feel like once you took uh, once you take out your energy from the situation, you have more chances of being better. Okay, whatever it is, it can be work. This relationship might have hindered you from your own growth. This relationship might have um, not just hindered, stalled. There you go. Um, a lot of people are asking you right now to, you know, face the facts, the truth. Vulnerability takes courage. It's hard for us to understand, like, it is what it is. Kesira, sira, whatever will be, will be. But because, you know, as a fixed sign, you would tend to really try to control the situation as much as you can. Um, and you're trying to control your feelings. If you're feeling sad and blue, happy and jolly, then explore that feeling. Do not restrict it. Vulnerability takes courage. Okay, let's begin here. Let's go with the tarot. Okay. Let's see here. You 
You get the Three of Wands, which is the Wandering card. Now you could be connecting with someone who's foreign from you. Um, with the Three of Wands, you're also realizing that it's time for you to break free and start anew. It can be relocating because it looks for the last one, which is Four of Wands. You're a wandering person right now. I don't sense that you are entangled or committed to anyone. You're actually giving other people like the benefit. You're just more like, okay, well, whoever wants to talk or get to know me, I mean, I'm, I'm chill, I'm down, why not, right? So there's a little bit of an excitement over in your energy, which is good. Being optimistic is something not of your character. You're a realistic person. I know that. You're an air sign. You're Saturnian. So for you, it's the facts and the T's. So you do not dwell on, like, let's just say, like, oh, like magical moments in life. No, you are as real as it can be. You realize that, you know what? There are times where you have to turn yourself back in order to see what is what lies ahead. Yes, because without the back, there is no forward. Rewind, okay? Let's continue. You're very energetic, Aqua. I love that. I feel like you want to go abroad. Mm -hmm. You could be waiting for a chance to travel again. That's another thing. But there's someone out there, two of wands, who is also looking at your behind. You must have a good behind. <laughs> okay. So with the two of wands and the three of wands, maybe an apple bottom. <laughs> with the two of wands and the three of wands, optimism with you is to move forward. They're optimistic that you're going to turn around and look at them once again. Once again. Just look. One, uh, one look, just look. One look. One touch. It's just enough, right? Now, I feel like with them, with the two of wands, they understand that the situation right now, I feel like they cannot turn it around mm -hmm. between the two of you, no. They can't turn it around, but with the Ace of Cups, there's definitely someone who's interested with you. Can be the person that you've walked away from, still has feelings for you. I sense that you do not have feelings for anyone though, period. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, which is easier to identify, right? Because if you don't have them, it's like, oh yeah, definitely that's himself. Exactly. With Ace of Cups here, um, they're looking forward for you to turn yourself around. Look at that. And then once you look, they're going to express their feelings towards you. Now, the Ace of Cups is a God-given opportunity. So if you are looking for someone new, this is that moment. Okay. Every time the door opens for us to meet someone new, we got to seize that. Or else we're going to, you know, we're just going to stay here and miss out on life, right? Mm-hmm. You are just empowered, Aqua. With a King of Swords, you have never been this motivated. And I feel like, you know, for you, you, clear, you, you clearly see the future now. Because my King of Swords is like the card that sees the future realistically. So you know where you want to go, what kind of home, lifestyle, where you're going to um, retire. You're layering now what we call a good foundation, which is NC20. You're doing the work, okay? So this King of Swords is also ambitious. Uh, this is a card of, um, can be like you're going back to school, university, but it's normally a higher degree. So you, you got that going for you, okay? You're becoming an expert in some sort of study. With the Empress card here, it shows that someone doesn't see you as the King of Swords. They see you as warm and fuzzy and giving and caring. And of course, with the Empress, you can give so much. And that's what they like about you, Aqua. You're one of a kind. Yes. You're one of a kind. Mm -hmm. But, there's a but there. Okay. With the Four of Swords, there are, there's a lot of you to think about right now. It's not easy for you to open up. You are in the stage of healing. With the Four of Swords, you haven't forgotten the person. Whoever has hurt you, you just came from a Three of Swords. So for you just to walk into like, oh, there's someone who's going to give me love. I mean... Is that's not easy. With the Four of Swords, you're going to contemplate on this. You're going to meditate. You're going to heal. Four of Swords is a card of like looking at the life. You know, this is the life that you had, that mosaic right there. This is you feeling still guarded. This is you, Three of Swords. You just recently gotten over someone and you haven't been under someone. <laughs> but there's definitely someone who sees you 
as the one. Ace of Cups with the Empress. I'll continue this reading, Aqua. Link down there in the description box below. Everybody who chatted here, love you guys. And everybody who's going to subscribe to our Divine Feminine um, Smudge and Crystal subscription, it's gonna be amazing experience because as a group, we're gonna be healing, cleansing, and connecting with our guides. And of course, at the same time, looking fab. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Go get yours now, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. We get a Five of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Uh, they they thrive on challenge. Aqua. They like a good challenge, so... Ninety-five down the freeway Trying to breathe, watch what I say Don't want to regret, don't want to upset you For too long Set myself free, it's been too long Set myself